Scientists say the rise and fall of supermountains may be responsible for creating life on Earth. That in a new report at Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Researchers from Australian National University say they've found a connection between the formation of supermountains and two crucial periods in the evolution of life on Earth. The study finds these mountain ranges were likely as tall as the Himalayas and stretched for nearly 5,000 miles across the planet's ancient supercontinents. Study authors were able to find evidence of these enormous landmarks through traces of zircon with low lutetium content. Now, it's funny. This stuff is really exciting, but I spend about an hour Googling these things to learn what they are and how to say them. <laughs> I think the periodic table was much smaller when I was in school. Anyway, this combination of a mineral and rare earth element only exists in the roots of large mountains where they're formed under extreme pressure. Analysis revealed that most of the world's supermountains formed during two periods in history. What makes this interesting is that both of these periods also mark times where life took a major step forward in the evolutionary process. The first was the Nuna supermountain that formed 1.8 to 2 billion years ago. That's when the organisms appeared that gave rise to plants and animals. The next was the Trans Gondwan supermountain. That took place between 500 and 650 million years ago. That coincides with the appearance of the first large animals about 575 million years ago, and the Cambrian explosion about 45 million years later. That's when most animal groups appear in the fossil record. So how did this happen, you ask? Well, that's what I'm here for. Researchers say that as these enormous mountains eroded over time, they seeded the world with essential nutrients like phosphorus, iron. In the oceans, this supercharged biological cycles during Earth's early years and drove evolution to create more complex creatures. Additionally, the team believes this process likely increased oxygen levels in the atmosphere, which the complex life forms needed to breathe. What makes the team's case even more compelling is the fact that scientists can't find another time in history between these two events when supermountains ever form. Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.